So I had to expose John a little bit to some woods experiences. So we have a small little chunk down here on this little knob. Most of these are scrub trees. There's two perches that I really don't care about in the first place, but I tried not to damage any oaks. Key is, again, when you're going through the woods, make sure both of the windows are closed and you want to try to go as straight as possible because when you turn, you can actually hit things with the side of the shirt or the back of the shirt, and we don't like that because it causes issues. I have had the fenders dented up on this too many times, uh, but you can bend them back again using just a simple channel locks. Works pretty easy. So try to get some of this experience, I guess. I have some video here, too, of us on the inside. So we'll let that play out and kind of go from there. Then we plopped over to the other side of this little knob and wanted to play there a little bit. See those trees are moving? It was pretty thick in there. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> so that was going over a pretty substantial obstacle. So from here, John had to get running away, so I gave him a ride back up to his vehicle and off he went. Yeah. But I did want to go on one more final pond adventure. I just came down and looked at some of the areas that I went through. I didn't break up the whole pond because I wanted some places that will hopefully be frozen up. Hopefully I can break through here again later in the year. Uh, time will tell. Again, this pond's only about five feet deep. Actually, many times it's actually froze completely out, but the fish do seem to still survive. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate any comments. Have a great day. Take care.